This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz on the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Chromebook C710 C7 a Chromebook computer with a cracked screen. And I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Chromebook C710. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop, we want to make sure it's safe to work on, and that means removing all sources of power, which includes the battery. So in order to remove the battery, we close the laptop and flip it over. On the bottom, there's one lever right above the battery. We slide it out, and then we remove the battery. Once the battery is removed, the laptop is safe to work on. Okay, before we start, we want to go over the tools we're going to use for this. We have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We have a smaller PH00 electronics screwdriver for smaller screws. A two millimeter flathead screwdriver, that's to pry things open. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any cables or screws that may be stuck. And an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife. And that's, and that's to remove any adhesive tape. Okay, the first thing we want to do is snap the screen bezel off. The screen bezel is the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And we need to do that in order to get to the screen assembly. Now, for most laptops, the screen bezel is secured with some screws to the screen assembly, but this one is not, so we can just snap it off. So in order to do that, we put our fingertips on the screen side and gently lift up the plastic and listen for snapping sounds. And gently work our way around the bezel, pulling upward and outward. and moving around. And if you get stuck at any point, go to a different place and come back to the point you're stuck at later. So we do the same thing on the bottom. Keep moving around like so. And pull it outwards towards you and the screen bezel should come off like this. No problem. So once we do that, we put the screen bezel to the side. For this type of screen, it's um, it's mounted to the screen assembly with some metal mounting tabs and it has two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom we have to remove. So we tilt the screen back a little bit to make sure it doesn't fall forward on you and use our uh, PH1 screwdriver to remove the screws. There's one. two, three, and four. Once we remove the four screws, we gently start tilting the screen forward. Make sure it's not getting stuck on anything, like so, and put it down gently. Okay, for this type of screen, there's only one connector, and we need to remove the connector. And before that, there's some adhesive on the video cable that's attached to the screen, so we remove that. And then there's some adhesive tape on the bottom. So what we want to do is use either our fingertips or the X-Acto knife to lift up this adhesive tape gently, not to damage anything. and lift it up all the way around the connector. And push it back. Once we do that, we grab with both our finger, both hands with both fingertips and gently pull the connector out. And there's some adhesive on the back of the connector, so we remove that. 
you remove that and now the screen is free now before we go any further I'm going to show you how to reconnect the screen because that's a bigger source of trouble I see when people are doing it at home when you put the screen down you gently slide the connector back in and you feel but not hear two clicks and let's get get a close-up okay see if you can get a good focus okay let's try to get a good focus again here we go okay the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other there should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection like so so pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks exactly like this okay so we disconnected one more time and we take a look at the screen okay the part number that you're looking for for the screen is B one one six X W zero three V two B one one six X W zero three V two and you need that whole part number. Uh, the reason is is that for Acer laptops and only Acer does this, I don't know why, the mounting brackets are on the top and bottom. For other laptops or Chromebooks that have the same screen and the part number is almost the same but not quite the mounting brackets are on the side so you want to make sure you get the exact part number and also the mounting brackets on top and bottom now when you do ha receive your screen there are two or three manufacturers that make the same screen with top and bottom brackets so don't be afraid don't worry if the part number is different just make sure that the brackets are on the top and bottom okay um, we at Screen Surgeons also have this screen available for this laptop model. And what you get with us is this toolkit comes for free with the screen. The toolkit will be included with the screen. We have a two year warranty on our screens. And also, we have free email technical support. So, when you receive the screen, if something's wrong, send us email and we'll help you walk through it and finally we have fast shipping we ship from warehouses in atlanta and las vegas so even with crown shipping you'll get there in two or three days and if you're outside the united states we can ship to most countries around the world just follow the regular checkout procedure to buy this screen from us go to www.screensurgeons.com there'll be a short form for you to fill out which will guide you to the right screen to buy it online okay once you do receive the screen connected as I showed you over here mounted in the screen assembly make sure that all the tapes are properly connected all the adhesive tape is properly connected and put the two screws in at the top and two screws in at the bottom and then snap the screen bezel back on and that should be it and you should be good to go Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.